Hey everyone, my name is Eric Weiss and today we are going to talk about Sitecore Content Hub's SSO integration with Okta. What we're going to do is we're going to actually go into the Okta dashboard and show you the values you need to put in as well as setting up the settings configuration for authentication in Content Hub. So with that, let's get started. Hey everyone, we're going to talk about connecting SSO to Content Hub from Okta. So one of the first things you want to do is you want to get here in the Manage screen and we want to go to our settings. So in our settings, we want to go to our authentication settings. And it's going to look something like this. Uh, typically, you'll see a value already set um, and you may not but we're gonna set all our external authentica authentication providers down here. But before we do that, we're gonna first create the actual ACS point and, and sign on in uh, Okta. So one of the first things you'll, you will need to do is you'll need to copy the URL. So we're here in Okta. When you're first creating your app integration, you're gonna click this button, create app integration. We're going to select SAML 2.0, hit next. We'll put in our name. And then we're going to hit next. So this is really important. Our audience URI or the SPNT ID is going to be our URL. It's pretty easy. The single sign on URL is going to be your base URL auth services slash ACS. So that's the point where your single sign is going to resolve your credentials. I want to add a override. So for email, so we're going to do email address. And sometimes you want to do this or you may not, but I'm just showing you what you want to do because depending on what your requirements are. You can add attribute statements. Uh, next, we'll go ahead. And for now, we'll just pick this because this is a demo. Okay, so now you have your metadata URL. A couple things to make sure. More importantly, we have to make sure our people are assigned to the application. Just like that. So let's go to settings real quick. So I'm going to just bring over this SAML value. Like that. I paste in. So we have our key. So it could be SAML, right, SAML. We need the metadata location file. So you copy right here. We'll copy that. And then we need the SP entity ID, which is obviously the base URL we pasted earlier. Then you need this IDP entity ID. So this is the ID from Okta. So one of the quick ways of doing that is go ahead and pull this value, the entity ID. Copy. Paste. Now your provider name, it could be anything, but it has to be unique. In this case, we're gonna just call it SAML. Module path is auth services, right? Authentication mode. This is basically could be either passive or active. Active will overwrite the default username and password that Content Hub has out of the box, or you can make a passive where it puts a button below that username and password. And then if you remember the attribute I did, uh, now what 
these email claim type and user claim type is, is basically an overwrite. You do, can use a global claim type if it's going to be consistent. Um, I typically do this because possibly if you have multiple SSOs down the road, in this case, uh, just to show you just through demonstration, you can overwrite it if need be. Since I'm going to use email address for both the username and email, obviously. And lastly, we'll keep this it is enabled true. So you could turn it on and off here if you don't want it to pair. So we're pretty much done. So let's save it. All right, so let's see what we got. Let's see. I forgot the base URL. As you see, here's the default username and password. You have the sign in button that will take you in the content hub through the default out of the box credentials. And then here is your SAML login. So let's click through. And we can see it's going to OCA, OCTA. And then we will use our credentials. I put in my credentials and it has successfully logged me into Sitecore Content Hub through the SSO. Um, and now you are successfully configured through Okta to your Content Hub instance. Hey everyone, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. If there's content that you want to see me cover about Content Hub or any other Sitecore product, please put your comments down below. Till next time.